Hey guys, this is Kevin Estella with Fieldcraft Survival, and today we are joined by the legendary Jack Carr, former Navy SEAL, outdoorsman, and uh, author of many best-selling books. So, Jack, welcome. Thank you so much for having me. This place is awesome. So I didn't know what to expect coming down here, mm -hmm. I, and uh, it totally blew me away. Like this whole place is just absolutely incredible, and the pictures that you guys share on Instagram, I've been trying to piece together, like what do they have going on down there? But this place is awesome. And, and pretty soon I'm sure we're gonna outgrow the space and next thing you know, it's gonna get even bigger, but yeah. we're gonna try to avoid that whole corporate feel. Yeah, yeah, um, this is great. What we wanted to do with this space is to make sure that we included gear that was really, really functional and was actually uh, something that you could really rely on, not just look good, like tucked away on a bookshelf or you know in a pocket dump. Mm -hmm. um, so. What we want to do is we want to ask you this question. Uh, what are your top five survival items that are must have items? But then there's a lot of cool stuff in here that maybe you don't necessarily need it, but okay. you just want it, right? Like we were just talking about the Red Dawn, like growing up in the eighties, right? Like the things that you want, like knives that you thought were super expensive. So maybe something that like you're walking through here and as a little kid, you're like, I want that, right? Not necessarily need, but want. Yeah. So. Um, we were going to do a scenario, but I mean, survival is so, uh, flexible. It's, it's dynamic. So just in general, top five items, what would you want? And then top five, what do you just want? Like, what do you need? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to walk around and do it or just yeah, talk we can about do that. It. We'll follow you. All right. Let's see. So, uh, well, weapon is the first thing mm -hmm. for me always. Cause sometimes, you know, depending on the scenario, it means I might be able to get some of those other things that I need plus defend myself, defend my family. Um, so, so what? And it doesn't always have to be a pistol, rifle, whatever. So uh, we don't have that stuff in here. Luckily, I already have my pistola right here. But if I could, I would say a rifle and okay. probably an AR type platform. Just give me more, uh, more options. And plus, I'm more familiar with it from coming up in the SEAL teams for for all those years. So uh, that's number one is uh, a weapon, uh, uh, rifle type type weapon. Uh, and then we'll go with a blade. Like I have my blades on me right now. I have my Northman from Bill Rapier that we did in the pocket dump upstairs. You can have a way to start fire mm -hmm. with that as well, which is which is nice, but that's reserved just for fighting. So um, it would really be two blades. So that one is just reserved for fighting. And then some other type of a multi-tool or a folder. Oh, that, look, uh, we have John Bliss here, our, our yeah. manager. Awesome. Yes. So I do use, uh, you know, always classic Swiss Army knife. Awesome. Right there. Uh, or a multi-tool from uh, from Gerber, one of the other companies that does that, but uh, just gives you gives you some options, and you're not dulling up a blade that uh, is reserved just for fighting. So I always like to have something like that on as well. So those would be the first two things: uh, rifle, pistol, shotgun, something in that in that realm, and then two knives, one for the fighting and one for doing all the other other uh, chores out there. And then uh, this knife does have a, a way to start fires, uh, but uh, the next thing would be a way to start start fire. So uh, what do you have over here that does does that? Well, you got your choices, right? You can go straight to flame with lighters or you can use uh, ferro rods. Ferro rods are actually over there, but okay. um, I mean, this is kind of a cool. little bit of Mike's dump over here. Nice. So, yep. I mean, you could go with these guys that are meant to actually, we don't sell them with the lighter so we can ship them. Nice. Um, but they're a waterproof container okay. for the lighter or the ferro rod. We got it. Yep. So one of those things, one of those uh, things to start fire and then uh, first aid kit after that or a trauma kit after that of which would, and if I have a choice, I'll go with the one that has the most, uh, the most in it, which is, what is this one right here? That's our uh, ECRK and I'm sure you could fashion. I mean, I think a lot of these items, your emergency blanket is in yeah. there. So that's a great choice. Um, and you could use some of these things multi-purpose. So yeah, probably there's a tourniquet in there. I always have, we have tourniquets stashed in the vehicles, in the drawers at the house, in my backpack. So we always have, have tourniquets ready to rock and roll at all times. So, uh, so what number are we on? We got, uh, we got weapons, we got blades, we got uh, fire. Uh, fire, we got first aid kit. So that's, that's five right there. Okay. That's so now, five right there. And if I, if, if we're, if we're taking those two knives and combining them into one, because mm -hmm. of uh, this, then I'm going to do something, uh, some sort of a bivy sack, uh, as well. And then you can put like debris over yourself and anything else to help with that, that insulation. But having something here as your, as your base, so at least you have, you have something to help, help dry out, keep you warm. Uh, that's synthetic, uh, is the way to go. Awesome. So now you've got five items that you just want. All right. Some nice to haves. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Let's go back over here and look at this fly rod uh, on the wall here. And I think this thing. Black or green? There it is. Let's go to the top one, I think, because it has, uh, yeah. It looks so unique 
by having was like a carbon fiber in there, like right there. This is amazing. So, uh, of course, you're gonna you know need a reel and some other pieces, but check that out. Fieldcraft Survival, and who makes this? What's the guy? So it's Divine Rods. Divine Rods. His name is Rick Jensen. Look at that. That's pretty sweet. So this would be my my nice to have. Look at that camouflage. Beautiful looking. So awesome. Awesome. Got four more. Four more. Oh my Shopping goodness. Spree. Oh my goodness. Let's let's check this out. Let's get some. Uh, Let's just check out some optics. Let's see. Uh, we'll stick with a bino because I don't have a, I already covered the rifle. So let's do, uh, yeah, some bino some so we can, yeah, we can check out some, some different try. routes we might need to take somewhere, or some avenues of uh, egress or approach or uh, check some people out that are, might be coming after us. So uh, definitely gets a little optic going there. All right, that's two. What else do we have? I didn't really check everything. Everything out we've been going as we went through. I mean, you skipped right over the, the jerky and coffee. I was surprised. Let's get some that. jerky. Yeah, let's get some jerky. Yeah, yeah. So we don't have to hunt and kill something the first night out anyway. So let's get some anthem jerky for sure. And oh, I'm going to have to get a little black raffle coffee. You know, and my favorite is the silencer smooth. Is there, yeah, there it is right there. Bam. That's mine right there. Of course, I like a little honey and cream in it. That's just how it goes just like my character kind of humanizes things a little bit, but silencer smooth has been my favorite for a long time, but now I'm a member of that coffee club. So I now I get the different ones every month, which is kind of cool to, to check out as well. Awesome. What are we on now? I think you have one more. Ooh, one more. So let's go, let's go down here. What do we have down here? Ha, this is fantastic. Look at this. It's good to have something to read when you're uh, in the outdoors or have a little time on your hands. And then, uh, you might be inspired also, a little, a little resiliency, a couple of lessons learned as far as leadership and tactics. Even though they are fiction, I do weave in uh, some of the things that I experienced downrange, mostly the, the feelings and emotions behind certain events that I was involved in. But uh, you'll find some, some leadership lessons and some tactics in these novels as well. So there we go. Awesome. Five and five. Not we bad. did it. This is awesome. Love this place. So guys, that right there is Jack Carr's list, not the terminal list, his list of the top five want items in the top five need to have items right here in Heber City at the Fieldcraft Survival Headquarters.